Hello everyone. In this video, we will see the installation of SQL Server 2022 and not only that, but also the Management Studio, which is the interface to communicate with the SQL Server. So to download SQL Server in the address bar of the browser, we will type SQL Server or in the Google you can type and here we will get the link, first link to download SQL Server. We'll click on the link. Okay, here you will find different editions of SQL Server and uh, down here you will find SQL Server Express and Developer Editions. These both are free. In Developer Edition, you will get all the options which are available in Enterprise Edition, but this is for testing purpose only. And in SQL Server Express Edition, you can do the development and also the production of small scale applications. So let's download it and to download, click uh, download now button and it will download the setup file. And when it is completed, click on it to run. Here we can see the installation types, basic, custom and download media in basic. It will install database engine with some pre-configured options and in custom it will ask you in detail what features you want to install and in download media it will download the setup files on your computer and you can install it later anytime and you can also copy the setup files to another computer and install it there so you won't have to download the setup files again and again so let's click this option download media okay here first we need to select the language in which language we want to install sql server and then we have three options which package we want to install in express core we have database engine means we can create databases tables store procedures and all that but we won't have some advanced features which we get in express advanced like full text searches this is basically used in words and phrases based searches character based searches normally we need it in text based fields and along with that reporting services and in that there is a report builder, report designer, wizards and some drag and drop controls. All that we get in advanced version. And then there is another version, local DB. This is a very light version and this is basically for the developers. What I mean is that uh, this is not for the database administrators. So in this we select advanced version and after that we need to specify the location where we want to download it. In this case the default option, the downloads folder is already selected i'll keep that but if you want you can change the location and after that click download okay now sql server has been downloaded we can close it or we can click open folder and it will open the folder where it downloaded the setup files let's open it and this is the setup file which we just downloaded Ok, let's install this and the same file you can copy to another system and install it there. So run this and first of all it will ask you the location to extract the setup files available in the downloaded file. I leave it as it is but you can specify any other location if you want. Then click OK. It will extract the files and run the installation wizard. So it created another folder and extracted all the files in that and it will run the wizard from there. Okay, wizard starts now and the first option standard on installation, click this. Okay, first in that there is a license agreement, you can read it and then you need to accept it and then click next. In this step, there are some global rules it will check like if you have privileges to install the SQL Server or if there are any compatibility issues and sometimes you need to restart the computer before installation. In this case, all are passed so click next. Okay, here it will ask you if you want to check for the update. Like if you have old installation files, for example, you downloaded the installation file six months ago and there is an updated version available now. So you can check this option. But in this case, I just downloaded the installation file so I don't need to check this option and click next.
okay in this step there are some installation rules it will check like if the computer is a domain controller it will not run the sql server service another rule if the required version of dotnet framework is already installed or not and firewall rules sometimes firewall blocks an application for incoming and outgoing traffic sometimes some ports are blocked in this case as you can see there is a firewall warning for the same thing if any of these rules failed we need to fix it before we can continue but it's just a warning so we can continue and click next okay here it is asking for the your extension if you need it you need to provide the credentials or you can provide subscription id region tenant id and resource group but i don't need it so i will uncheck this option and click next okay here it is asking for all the features you want to install by default some features are already selected additional you can select to install like polybase query services this is used if you want to communicate with another database server like oracle you can check this if you need it otherwise leave it unchecked local db especially if you are a developer and you want it within visual studio you can check it but i will install sql server management studio so i won't need it i will leave it unchecked and after that root directory by default it is in program files so i will leave it as it is and click next okay here it is asking for the name of the sql server instance if we select default it will make it sql server or if you want to provide it a name you can do it i'm providing it sql express instance name and id can be different but i will recommend you to keep the same and then click next okay here are some services which will be installed and their startup type automatic manual disabled you can change the startup type but i will recommend you to leave it as it is one more thing you can change startup type later in the system services now click next okay here it is asking for the authentication mode windows authentication mode or mix mode if you want to log in to sql server using windows user only select windows authentication mode or if you want to log in with windows user and also sql server users you need to select mix mode in mix mode you need to provide the password for sa user which is an sql server administrator account and after that you need to provide a user which will have unrestricted access to sql server for that if already not available you can click add to add a user or click add current user and it will add current user account which is already logged in to the windows and for the windows authentication mode i want to tell you that even on installation time you select windows authentication mode still you will be able to change it to mix mode after installation through management studio i will show you that later in the video and now click next here it will show us the progress of the installation and it will take some time to install it okay installation completed and it is asking us to restart the system okay and now close this wizard and now because sql server has been installed so you can delete this folder if you want and after the installation of sql server we can check it in sql configuration manager here it is showing the service of sql server is running so our sql server has been installed and running okay now sql server is already installed but we will need an interface to communicate with sql server so for that we need to install sql server management studio and for that we can click this link or we can type in google sql server management studio
and we will get this link click this on this page scroll down a little and there you will see download SQL Server Management Studio click this link to download it it will start downloading but will take some time okay our management studio has been downloaded and it is also downloaded in the downloads folder and if you want you can also take a copy of this and install it on another computer okay let's run this and here it is asking us where to install I will leave it as it is but you can change the location if you want and after that click install this may take a few minutes okay our management studio has been installed close this and run the program SQL Server Management Studio okay here I will connect to SQL Server using Windows authentication so here are the databases okay we selected mix mode while installing SQL Server so we can also connect to SQL Server using SQL Server authentication provide SQL Server administrator account which is SA and the password we set while installation and connect and in case if you didn't select mix mode while installation or you installed SQL Server using basic installation type then you need to log in with Windows authentication then right click on server instance and then click properties and then click security and here this option will be selected and you can change it to SQL Server and Windows authentication mode and then you will be able to log in using Windows authentication mode as well as SQL Server users so viewers this was the downloading and installation of SQL Server and Management Studio hope you like the video thanks for watching and see you again in the next video